and welcome back. It's Christine again with the Artist Pod, and today we're going to talk about how to draw a dragonfly. So, let's get arting. All right, so I've mostly sketched out the dragonfly. I thought um, I would leave it so that you could see me sketching out the wing. Um, I'm going to basically do on these bottom wings the same thing I did on the top here, and eventually I'm hoping to take off this layer so that that design will stand on its own. But first we've got to get the design. So it's just a lot of like, the first thing I do is kind of this layer of this sort of straight swooping layer before I add the squiggles on it. That will help get the shape set so that I can get rid of the line for the shape. Right, like I'm just going to kind of not do what I just did. Top it's the swoop, I angle it away from um, the wing so I'm angling it all kind of down as you can see not putting a lot of pin pressure. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this almost S-like shape following that same contour. With dragonfly wings they don't quite look like this but the effect should work because I'm just trying to make it seem sheer. Um, but because they have some rigidity to their wings I'm actually leaving the top not as um, squiggled as the bottom because they tend to have more uh, rectangular designs up at the top. Because I'll be getting rid of um, the outline that I've done, staying within that line isn't as important, but I do need to kind of make it all at least look like it makes sense. All right, so there's one, and we're going to add highlights and shadows to this, so this is just kind of the under sketch. Here's the second. So when I'm drawing like this, right, like my light source is coming from, you know, over here, above and to the right, um, I try to make sure that my shadow is kicking in on the body roughly in the same place all the way down so that it, it remains consistent, that the rounding of the body will, uh, will be the same, right? I mean, it's a little thicker here, um, but, you know, I need to make sure that it all kind of makes sense in relation to each other, even though it's all sort of separate individual uh, sections of color. And you'll notice that I, on this side, even though this is the side of the light source, um, because it's a rounded object, right, that edge even on the side of the light source goes into shadow um, just as it sort of rounds over, so, um, and then kicks into the, the highlight pretty quickly. All right, so that is how you draw a dragonfly. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, so I will see you all soon. Thank you so much, take care.